Um, so I could talk and talk and talk, but we're here to listen to Nick. This is Nick Dunbar. He's from XL Sports Tours. I'm not sure. I'm sure you, would, if you watch any uh, soccer on TV, you've seen their commercials. Um, they do this soccer fanatic weekends. Um, you know, I'll let them go. Nick Dunbar. <laughs> Got a mixture of fans, got some kids as well. I saw a Liverpool shirt in the back. Are you a Liverpool fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's a Liverpool fan? Who was your favourite player for Firmino? Yes, Firmino? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> you like him or not? Are you a good player, bad player? Okay. He's great. Alright, we just took it. The reason I bring Liverpool up, did you watch the Liverpool Arsenal game? Nah. The first game of the season? Yeah. All right. We actually had 95 people at that game. They actually went to that game. To oh, see that's awesome. Hard, which is pretty cool, right? So, as Coach just mentioned to, to you there, what my role really is, is to show you what it is that we do. When we speak to coaches, um, such as Coach Tom over there, and, and colleges and club teams, we try to design a schedule around what your goals are. If that ends up being a schedule that you like and want to do, fantastic. I'll warn you now as I warn everybody, Everybody that wants to do a tour with us, the reason we got to the tour business was very, very simple. We got tired of doing camps, essentially when we first came over, and we said, okay, how can we watch Barcelona play Real Madrid for free? And the easy answer is we take you guys with us and you need a chaperone. So that's what we do. So in April, for example, I went to Borussia Dortmund. Any Dortmund fans around us? Borussia Dortmund? No? 90,000 people. They have a 25,000 standing singing section called the Yellow Wall. And we had 20 parents with them, 20 kids, and the parents all of a sudden realized that German soccer stadiums have beer gardens with them, which is pretty cool if you're a parent. <laughs> so all these cool things that we did, what we said to you is this, we'll put a tour on if you want to go on it, um, and then it's really up to you. So if there's enough interest to it, fantastic. If there isn't, it doesn't matter to us, we still do tours anyway. I'm going to take you through a brief presentation of what it is we do. There's a quick video in the middle of it as well, just so you don't have to listen to me all the time. We'll go from there. Okay. So, our company values. The reason I show this first and foremost is simple. It's to say to you this, we are not somebody in their second bedroom putting tours together wearing pajama pants. This is what we do for a living. So we organize tours. What's the lights? What's that? I don't know. Can everybody see or not? We okay? If you yeah. turn the lights down, people sleep usually. It's okay. Uh, I've got the eye of the little pool through back there already. Um, so this is what we do. So we coached organised the tour before, collecting registrations, collecting money, making sure that everybody's then paid for the dinner and things like that. This is what we do, this is what we take care of. Everything we do, we're going to talk about hotels when we get to it. If you stayed in hotels before, I don't know what type of hotel you stayed in, we by design are hotel snobs. We do not stay in anything like a motel sick. We stay in four-star hotels, city centre hotels, because we go with you. We want to stay in nice places as well. Everything we do is on your smartphone, is on your tablet, is on your computer, all the registration is taken care of. We're a full time professional organisation. It's what we do. Okay. So, the places we visit, you talk about England. England, by far, is the most popular destination because right now the English Premier League is on more over here than it is in England. You can't even see the games in England, you're going to see one game a day. Over in America, you can pick up every single game on your smartphone. Right, guys? Who we got? Who, which teams are we supporting here? We got United. Liverpool. Who? United. United. Chelsea. United. We like Chelsea. United. City. Yeah. Game called off tonight. Did you see that? No. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously a City fan. Just came to it like. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any Manchester United fans? Get that, brother. Okay, so you all cost spend away hundred dollars immediately. There. <laughs> We actually do a tour of Old Trafford, which if you've ever done the Old Trafford tour, it's fantastic. You get to drive Beckham's jersey. There's a Beckham exhibit, which is a nightmare for the mom. You have to push him along. Come on, ladies. Let's speed up. And the fabulous Beckham story that I'll tell you after he's in the bar. Um, we literally go wherever the ball is kicked. To the extent, Coach thinks I've got the best job in the world, my wife kind of wonders as well. Because the bottom left, does anybody know where that bottom left picture's from? It's a famous soccer country. It's actually the Cayman Islands. Which sounds pretty cool right now, doesn't it? Let's take a tour of the Cayman Islands. We just took Ohio Wesleyan Women's University, the Cayman Islands, where they played the Cayman National Team twice and played a big soccer tournament. And they needed a chaperone, so I obviously volunteered for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Um, but we'll literally go over ball skiing. Barcelona, Valencia, Dortmund, Amsterdam, Great Tours, anywhere the ball is kicked, we'll go. All right, something good to work with. This one you get to recognize some teams with my city fan. Yes, city fan, which one is the one on the left? Yeah. You're the city fan, who's your favorite player? Uh, where else? Of course, right, <laughs> of course. What do you think of Joe Hart leaving? Thumbs uh, up, thumbs down? Uh, I like, yeah, I like Bravo. You don't like Bravo? He was useless this week, I want to give away a goal, but so did Joe Hart. Anyway, um, when we go abroad, we want to work with, or want your kids to work with, top coaches. Or we want the coaches to be people that share the same values you do. So when you go abroad, you'll actually do training sessions with top level coaches. Those are some of the groups we work with. We took Nagy there, which was really cool of him. Didn't need to do it. He's a kid who grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania. Academy player, just went over there, tried his hand and he got on. And he, what a super kid. Very, very humble. The best thing about Christian was this. It was raining. We're in Germany, of course, it's raining. The kids go back on the field to train. And he's hanging around speaking to somebody like me. And I'm kind of thinking, okay, Christian, surely you've got better things to do. Until I realised that he was waiting for his dad to pick him up. Because at 17, you can't drive. So here's a kid that's got a licence, has got Audis, sponsored Audis in his car park, but he can't drive them. So the poor kid, and then all of a sudden he's speaking to me, and his phone when he goes, I'll have to go, it's my dad. So even 17 year old professional players for the national team have to get picked up by the dad every day. But we'll play wherever with these top team clubs, we're going to take to St. George's Park, part of the schedule, where the England national team train and stay before all of the games. So we'll actually like work with top level coaches. And to be honest, that's great for the coaches too, because it gives them the chance to interact with people, get some information, and also have some curriculum. All right, what are we going to do when we're there? If I ask you for what are the key elements to do, and in speaking to coach, I kind of asked him what are the goals of doing a tour. And it seems to be that you just want a big, huge sugar lump of soccer. Now, parents, don't get disappointed because you can do other cool things as well. We'll show you what the schedule looks like if you decide to go. Um, best live games. The two pictures there around the stadium. Uh, this picture up here was Isakwa. They just went over in the, um, in the fall, in August, rather. And they actually got to line the field and went to watch Stoke City against Manchester City. When we go to games, we sit together and we only go to top-level games. So we go to English Premier League games. If you're going to go to England, I would stress this. Make sure you go to a top EPL game. That's the girls' coach right now. That's a fine, actually, in Man City. That's a fine there. Are we good? <laughs> so we're going to go to top live games. Now, before you ask which games we're going to go see, we don't know. But we do know if you've got the dates you're going to, it's a community shield at Wembley, and those are our tickets when we go see a Wembley game. The middle one and the one on the right there. So those are the level of tickets that we're getting. We only go top level tickets. And quite honestly, guys, the most expensive part of our tour are the tickets. It's more expensive than a West End show right now to go and see a live game. But if you're going to go there, make sure you go and see top level games. Okay, something else that we'll do over there is we're going to play against top teams. Now, if the girls go, we'll obviously have games for those guys too, we'll obviously have games for the boys there. You'll play against academy level teams based upon your coach's input because what we're looking to do is say, if you play three games, I think we said coach three games? Three games. If we play three games, you want to win one, tie one, and lose one all by the odd goal. That's a perfect tour. Now, the group we took to Germany played two teams in Holland, lost by the odd goal, and then the coach, being the coach that he was, said, I want them to be really run to bits by the German team if you could because that's going to be their last game. It was Albany Blackwatch, Premier Team. And could they play a really top level German team? And we said, well, look, what's the level of your kids? They shouldn't be playing against this team. He says, no, I want them to play against a top level team. At which point the game finished 7 0, which is a nightmare for us. The coach thought it was brilliant because he thought he'd shown his kids a lesson. To me, it was kind of crazy. And the team was so German that they didn't celebrate with any of the goals. They just ran back into position and scored it. <laughs> that's how German they were. But what we're trying to do is find out what's the right level. So we may even play against, for example, Manchester City's academy team, but you might play a year down, as opposed to playing at your right age. Because Manchester City's academy team, U15, could all be playing pro. So we've got to measure it up against what's the right level team, playing on good fields, making sure that there's crossbars there, referees there, and all the other cool stuff as well. All right. So we're going to train at top facilities. Have we got any Spurs fans? No Spurs fans. Manchester City fans, we do train with Manchester City. 
So we get the Man City coaches, Everton, any Everton fans? Fulham, Liverpool fans? Yeah. Liverpool fan, yeah, we train with Liverpool as well. Nice. So we'll actually train at some of the top facilities, and I think all 24 national teams train there. And that's 24 national teams from the juniors, and even the cerebral poles in the blind team, all the way up to the England men's national team. When we stay there, there's a very good chance that there may be a team already training there. But it might not be the England team, it could be one of the premier teams that will use this one as a location and base. Superb facility, and definitely worth the stay when you go there. Alright, top, top stadiums, anybody recognise the stadiums? We got a Man United fan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. what's that one? The empty hand, it's called, back in England, that's right, yes. They can't even fill it, did you know that? You can always get a ticket for Manchester City, they can't fill it. Old Trafford, if you go to Old Trafford, who's my Man United fans? Yeah, Tom, you are. Have you, have you been to Old Trafford? Yes. Okay, so Old Trafford, Ferguson stand, the Alex Ferguson stand, that stand will hold 30,000 people. It's bigger than some people's entire stadium, and you can fit a football field, soccer field, on top of the roof of the stand. So we'll actually go and see some stadiums when we're over there, go behind the scenes. Coach literally wants you to see as many stadiums as possible, so we'll look into that. And then finally, see all of England, all right? Um, we always try and get at least one kid arrested in Trafalgar Square by climbing on a lion. And over and under is usually two. We'll, we'll always lose at least two kids when we go to London. Um, the world record for kids in a telephone box is set 13. You guys have got no chance of doing it because you're too big for it. You'll never get 13, don't even try. Um, but when we're over there, we want to do as many cultural things as possible, right? See as much of the sights of England. Because we have real castles, not like the Sheraton Tower in Framingham. It's kind of a real one with stone and everything. It's like proper Game of Thrones stuff. Um, so we'll do a stadium tours, but we'll also do a ton of London stuff as well, which I'll show you on the schedule when we get to. And then the other thing I said to you as well, is we always stay in top class hotels. If we go to London, we stay in city centre hotels, just down from Kensington Garden. You can walk out play a game of soccer in the park. If we stay in Manchester in the North West, we're close enough there that if parents want to just go off and find a Starbucks, go for a coffee, we're downtown. We're not staying out on a motorway somewhere. And the bus stays with us. The bus driver stays with us. It gives us flexibility to add other things if we need to do. All right, I'm going to take you through a schedule that coach had kind of worked on before, so I'll just read through that for a minute and then take you through a couple of days. I've told you what the date's correct, right, on that one? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And um, we'll obviously send this presentation out to you and the itinerary. The itinerary, I don't know if you've got. Have you ever seen the itinerary? Yes. Coach? Okay, so you've kind of seen that. All right, here's how we normally fly. This is what we did with Springfield. They actually went the same week as you did, Springfield Mets. Um, you fly Friday, you fly through the night, you arrive the next day in London. Here's the problem with that, the kids get on the plane, we tell them the kids, hey, go to sleep, why don't you get some, a little bit of a nap, kids, before you wake up. And of course, they get on the plane, and they realise they can watch three movies in six hours without the parent telling them. So off they go to watch that. So the way we get off the plane, so what we do, we take it straight to training. We take it straight to Queen's Park Rangers, we turn it there to Academy Ground, and we do a quick little freshener, and before we go to Covent Garden, and John Sykes is downtown London, check into your London hotel, then we'll have a dinner, a big team dinner with all the parents and all the kids. The group to go from Dover Sherman, they left the kids in the hotel, we took all the parents back to Covent Garden, and they went to a wonderful beer cabin, just downtown Covent Garden, the Punch and Julia, which sounds pretty cool right now, right? Kids, you get to eat pizza. <laughs> Alright, on Sunday, your first weekend there is actually the Community Shield. And the Community Shields of Wembley, which is an unbelievable venue, and it's between the winners of the Premier League and the winners of the FA Cup. So who was it at this time round? United. Who, who was it? United, United and Leicester. Correct. Leicester City. Americans have finally realised how to pronounce Leicester now. Um, what's the coach who was on NBC? What's he called? You know, you know the guy that does the, the joke one? Uh, the comedian. You know when he does the coach with the moustache? You know what I mean? No? Okay, well he calls him Leicester. That's pretty funny. Okay. Um, what's that when we were in, in the morning, coach, you wanted to go to Arsenal? Yes. Do we have any Arsenal fans? We have an Arsenal fan in the mix. <laughs> Did you watch them today? Did you watch them this afternoon? No, I haven't. Do you know the result? Or are you taping it? Ta taping it means nothing to you, but it's taping it. It's taping it, bro. <laughs> are you videoing it on your VHS? Do you, know the, you don't know the result? No. You do. They were poor apparently. Ospina was the man of the match. Unbelievable. So anyway, 
On Monday, we're going to take a trip on the London Eye, which is that bird's eye view of London. If you're scared of heights, don't want it. Close your eyes, stand against the walls, talk to a friend. <laughs> then we'll have to do a quick tour around London, Trafalgar Square, Buckingham Palace. We'll have to do a walking tour, and we have a river cruise up the Thames, and then you play your first game that evening. So that first day, if you notice the coloured stuff, it's kind of our soccer stuff. So we'll play our first game. Next day, coach talked about maybe Wembley Stadium, but we said it probably could be Chelsea. Right, we'll go yeah. see Chelsea, that famous Russian team that play in London, so we'll actually go there. When we stay in London, we actually stayed at Chelsea Village, which is a hotel that's attached to Stamford Bridge. We were there when uh, the women won the FA Cup and Mourinho lost in the Community Shield to Wenger. That was two years ago, and they were all in the same hotel as us, which was kind of interesting, because if you know your managers, Mourinho was not the most chatty person at the best of times, but he was really upset that day, he wasn't speaking to anyone. But we'd actually probably go to Chelsea, then travel north and stop off in Stratford-Paragon, home of Shakespeare. Boys, we all know who Shakespeare is, don't we? <laughs> there you go, look at you guys, eh? <laughs> any English majors? Do we have any? Nobody doing English? Nobody big on English? We actually take, when we go over there, we have quite a few parents who would like to go to the Globe Theatre. The Globe Theatre is just downtown London, jump on a tube station, go in there and watch it, watch it play the ball. It's a fantastic event. We travel north, stop in Stratford-Upon-Avon, and then coach wants us to watch a midweek fixture under lights, probably the championship game. 25,000 people, all crammed in. You have to park the bus far away because you can't get the bus close. You have to walk in with all the crowds chanting. It's when all the parents get really worried that my kid might go run off with a hooligan. It doesn't happen, don't worry. You have to have a meat pie. It's the law. You must eat a meat pie when you go there, which is this wonderful scotch. And then we watch the game and we walk out afterwards. It's a fantastic night, only for lights, really cool. Next day, training session with an English FA coach, probably going to be a Manchester City coach. Take a tour of Anfield, home of the mighty Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to the Albert Docks. If I was going to the tour, and I don't go on the tours, I get the advantage of being able to go on any tour I want. I generally don't. So, you know what I said about a guy in his pyjamas in his second bedroom? Like, you don't arrive with just me in a different cap. I recognise that guy, and then I'm taking you back to the room. We have a full-time staff who does all that cool stuff for you. If you want to go, I can do. If we go there, and there's parents that go, and they're going with me, we go straight to the cabin club. Home of the Beatles, boys, do you know who the Beatles are? Yeah. Sign a good parent, find a Beatles on your kid's iPod. The Beatles, if you're not sure who the Beatles are, boys, they're like One Direction, but with talent. <laughs> <laughs> Best example I can give you, right? So, if you go with your parents, we go to the cabin club, we have a quick drink, just a quick one. Watch a Beatles tribute band and then walk back, because you kids are all going to be in Liverpool 1. There's a, a shopping location called Liverpool 1, that's the address of it, where all the club shops are and you're all going to buy a jersey, aren't you? Now, Liverpool 1 is the address of the shopping centre. There is a Liverpool club shop there. There is also an Everton club shop there. Who at Everton? Other team from Liverpool, right? Yeah. Third in the league right now. Above Liverpool. Never mind you. Yeah. For now, the Everton club shop is called Everton 2. Now, the reason it's called Everton 2, this is a true story, you can use this. It's called Everton 2 because its address is Everton 2. Liverpool 1. How cool is that? The shopping centre's called <laughs> Liverpool 1. Google it, it's called Everton 2. I think, why is it called Ever Everton 2? Liverpool 1 is its address. Red and blue, two and a half minutes. <laughs> Next day, we're going to travel to the north of Wales, seaside town of Conway, unbelievable castle. Chester, where there's a cathedral, there's Roman walls, there's a Roman amphitheatre there as well. There's also a Primark, which my daughter found, who's 14 years old. Look, Annabelle. There's a Roman amphitheatre, yes dad, but there's a Primark over there selling leggings for five dollars. <laughs> so she went from there, and I went around the Roman wall. So we try and give you a bit of culture if we can, not always easy. easy. Play your third game of the tour then, so you come and play a Liverpool team, and then play a Manchester team. Next day coach, home of Old Trafford, tick your bucket list, done. Right, National Football Museum, then we talk to St George's Park, take a tour of the facility, next day get up, Training session, parents sleeping, use the spa, it's very nice. Um, and, then take, and then go and see our second game, dinner at the hotel before we fly out the next day. Now as you look at that, there is very, very little downtime. Agree? So whenever we go in front of the kids, what are they going to do? Don't worry about it, we take care of the kids. And if you are going parents and you want to go there, 
It is our job to chaperone. We do not expect parents to get involved. We don't need the coach to get involved. We chaperone and our ratio is about one to eight people, not including the bus driver who stays with us as well. So it's our job. Your job there is just going out fun and find some time to do whatever you want to do. Guys, boys and the girls, obviously there's a ton of soccer. There's almost soccer every single day. We try to keep none of soccer in there. Any question on the schedule? Would you like more soccer? Less soccer? Stefan Sieber, Coach Sieber from Springfield, <laughs> insisted on two hours training every single day. <laughs> because that's Coach Sieber, right? So we're going to have a training session every day at 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. So parents got to have your breakfast, 7 till 9, boys went out and practiced. If you want to do that, Coach, although you can't coach them, so you're going to have to get me to do it, so you're not sleeping, <laughs> and you guys can just go for a run again. Now, what I can't tell you about the schedule is what your moment's going to be. And what I mean that is, um, I was actually over with a group from California a few years ago and talked to them about, well, you 14 boys, hey, let's grab four backpacks and a ball and let's go for a kick around in Kensington Park on a summer night. What a cool idea. And the kids didn't know how to set up a field. They were looking for the goals. And I said, no, no, two backpacks there and two backpacks there. We'll just plan. And they're like, really? And at the end of the, after the end of the tour, we always ask the people, what was your favorite part of it? And it was that day, because for an hour and 30 minutes we played, just pick up, and people were walking past and tying the dogs up to trees so they could join in. So at one point we had 20 against 20. You can always go with your head or a bicycle. Okay? <laughs> and the kids just thought it was brilliant. Like, we'd been to Wembley, we'd been to Old Trafford, but their biggest moment was a kick around in the park. So I don't know what that element's going to be. I don't know what your moment's going to be. You'll have one somewhere in there. It's going to the final. All right, reveal the screen. What's the clue? You should have seen it on the sheets. So obviously coach has mentioned it, if we get more people to go, it obviously gets cheaper and lower costs. Um, the thing that I've got to warn everybody about was, like I said at the start, the only reason people don't go on tours with us, let's be honest, is because they just can't afford it. If you want to go see Real Madrid play Barcelona, who would like to go see Real Madrid Barcelona? Yes, you would. Who's your favorite? Bas you're a Barca fan, aren't you? No. You're Real Madrid? <laughs> Are you Madrid? Are you Ronaldo or not? Yeah, Ronaldo. Bale, Ronaldo, what do we think? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah. I like Ronaldo. I do like Ronaldo. And I, thought he, and I thought in the European Championships, he kind of brought himself back a little bit. After Iceland, they didn't like him, then he came back a little bit. If you want to go see Barcelona against Real Madrid, you can do. We have tickets for that. We have tickets for every game. It's a $900 ticket. Now, do you really want to go see him that badly now? <laughs> right, Elon University went to see the Classico. But Elon University have a huge alumni that paid for everything. So if you're going to do a tour, guys, there has to be a massive amount of fundraising that we see, which we've already talked about, and it requires some commitment from you guys to do it. So that's what you have. Everything is included, but we have to have our flight. We don't include daily lunches. The reason we don't do lunches is because we don't do bag lunches anymore. And you guys can find out just by going to Subway, a sandwich shop or whatever. The breakfast is included at the hotels is a full English <coughs> breakfast. Has anybody in this room, boys, had a full English breakfast before? It's like pure cholesterol, they kind of inject it into your veins. <laughs> the record is 13 cooked breakfasts in a week. Although I don't know what they'd be like, coach, for pre-season training after that. <laughs> because black pudding, anybody have black pudding? We have bacon as well, real bacon. Not the bacon that you serve in America, that's not really bacon. It's like proper bacon, like meat bacon, instead of that stringy stuff. We have proper sausage and everything. So everything you could have from spending money. How much spending money do you need? I can guarantee you every player in this room is going to buy a jersey. With your name on, right? You're not going to buy a jersey, so there's always that. Other than that, you're looking to get yourself sodas, so about 20 bucks a day. Alright, some ideas on registering for your tour. We set up all your registration online. Coaches that need to get involved with it. You go online, you have your own registration page, all your emails are there. Any information you need is all online by tablet, smartphone, computer, phone call, instant message. You go and register, and then once you register, you'll have your own login details, and you can communicate with us that way. So it takes all the pressure off of you, coach. We just register like that. In terms of payment, we set up a payment plan, generally eight, six, four, two months away. Or we can do it around whenever your fundraisers are, if that makes it easier for you guys as well. And if you do some fundraising, guys, and send a check in, like a big check, just tell us who you want to apply it to, and we can do it that way as well. All right. We also have a fundraising program. So one thing that we do is a cool little thing.
When you send your money in, your first um, deposit, ask for a book of raffle tickets. Here's a book of raffle tickets. They come at $20 each. University of New Haven paid for an entire tour using tickets like this. And it's simply a book of raffle tickets. That's the first price for it. The tickets sell for $20 each, although some groups are sold three for 50, or even $10 each. If you're wondering about spending money, we say to the kids, how oh, many tickets you sell, that could be spending money. It's a free raffle that we do, that we'll do every year anyway. We'll do one in October, and then another one in October, so you could actually get into two raffles and sell tickets. And we give tickets out to the value of the tour. So we've actually had some groups have paid for their entire tour just selling raffle tickets for that event up there. And if the person who wins it's not an English Premier League fan, send them to go and watch Wimbledon, send them to go and watch West End shows, it's still cheaper. They get their own driver and they get their flights paid for and everything else. So it's kind of a raffle prize that we offer. Make sense? 30% of the people take us up on it. And most people don't even ask for tickets. It blows me away. Just put your own name on the tickets and maybe you'll win. All right, in terms of our flight option, if you want to use your own air miles or something like that, you absolutely can do, but we will set up a group program. The group program would be, it would go on the first day and come back on the last day. There's very little flexibility. So if parents want to go over and maybe spend some extra days in London or Paris or things like that, they absolutely can do, but you need to book your own flight to do that. But we will get the best possible group rate. Coach, you can then decide if the group want to go together. Often groups do, but we'll get the best possible group rate. What I will tell you about flights is this. The day before you fly, you may go online and find that you can find the same flights cheaper than we came up with it. Because we're trying to get 30 people, and if you've flown to Europe recently, you'll notice it's not the big planes anymore, it's kind of a three and a three. So it's not even getting 30 flights makes it cheaper, it's more about availability. If you go online and find one the night before, you'd have to pay for it immediately with a credit card. So you could go online right now and book one, but you'd have to pay for it immediately. And you're not going to get 30 of them. It's like when you go for hotels on Priceline, right? They might have one room available, which is why it's cheaper. So we will get the best possible group option. Springfield actually flew from Boston to London via Reykjavik, via Iceland. And it turned out to be a really cheap flight. The only thing is there was no food on the flight. So you had to take your own food, but it was a $900 flight. So you can weigh it up, do you want to do, is it really worth paying the next couple of hundred to fly direct and get food on the plane? So we will organize a flight and give you the best option available to you guys. All right. So some frequent questions we get asked, up there, I've probably covered them. How do we register? I've talked about it. How do we handle rooming? Rooming is double occupancy. If you ask for four in a room, it's not like when you go to a tournament, let's have eight people in a room, you pay by the head. So it's double occupancy. If we need a three, we can sometimes address a three. But often, that's maybe a younger sibling and they want to stay with the family, that kind of thing. But double occupancy, we defer to the coach on who's rooming with who. But you guys, if you register, can decide who you're going to sleep with, right? Who you're going to stay in the room with but we defer to you coach to see who would you rather put together. Um, we do set up a payment plan, I mentioned that. We've got the raffle program, the flight options. It is the same price for everyone who goes on the tour. If you want to do a prorated package, maybe we've got a group of parents who want to stay in London and don't want to go to the Northwest, we do a prorated package for those guys. So we can do it less than that. Um, we have staff to chaperone. Obviously with the sightseeing, the bus stays with the kids. Coach, if you said we got the girls team, we might go above 50, right? We couldn't, mm -hmm. there's maybe a chance. Mm -hmm. If we did that, we'd need two buses, which means a parent bus and a kid's bus. Cool, right? <laughs> parent bus goes that way, see you in a week, kids, we'll have to ask Which we do. <laughs> and in terms of the games, I get asked this question all the time, which game will we see? I've got no idea. Because quite honestly, guys, you've got no idea yet 30 days out in the biggest Premier League. If you go to the Premier League, every game is on a Saturday, but as you know, this Friday, huge game this Friday. Who is it? Liverpool Chelsea. Liverpool Chelsea, where? Uh, Stanford Bridge. Stanford Bridge. Stanford Bridge. Which I've been to, by the way. Who's going to win? Liverpool. Chelsea. Chelsea. You're a Chelsea fan, aren't you? <laughs> You're a Liverpool fan. Scores? 2 0. 2 0. Boom. <laughs> I think Liverpool are going to score, though. I think Liverpool will score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill him. Ah. And that is our slide there, so it comes down to questions from you guys, really, right now. We've, we've obviously, you've videoed it, we've got a PDF, we've got the registration information, and now I open it up. Is there any questions from you guys? What airline? Good question. All right, so we only use major carriers when um, 
there's a couple of airlines right now, Norwegian Air and Wow, are two unbefeasible airlines now that are offering ridiculous rates and flying into Gatwick. Generally, if you're going to fly out of Boston, I'm guessing you could maybe do JFK from here, but probably going to be Boston. You're looking at British Airways, American Airlines, Virgin, all the major carriers. But what we would do is, um, Springfield had the opportunity to fly with Iceland there, which is a brand new plane, beautiful plane, and they were offering unbelievable rates there. But American Airlines and things like that. So, generally the major carriers. All those shop doors. Aer Lingus is another good one as well. Aer Lingus is nice because you actually do your um, immigration in Ireland, which is kind of cool. And if you miss your plane, you get a night in Dublin, which is okay too. Spent a night in Dublin. That's fun. Good question. Any other bits? Yeah. The only thing you can drink, actually, in, in Ireland is the law. You have to drink Guinness, yeah. What else? Yeah? Can you give me a game to ref? Could I what? I want to ref again. Could you referee again? We'll get you refereeing again if you want. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll at least give you a flag. You can ref <laughs> <run> the line. <laughs> we'll at least get you a flag if you're going there. You mean one of these kids' games, not a professional game? <laughs> I'm not sure. If you're a we, we actually do. We took a team once to Fulham, which used to be called US United, because all the USA players played for them. And it was a, a girls' college team. So they went up to the field for the uh, crossbar challenge. You know the crossbar challenge, boys? Now, I made it from the edge of the penalty area, not the halfway line, where the problems are from. And, and the first girl stepped up, hit it, and hit the crossbar. And they went mental. The crowd went mental. They got, they got nowhere near it after that, but that was pretty cool. So, if, worst case, I might be able to get you on the field for a crossbar shooter. Apparently, shoot out. But we could definitely get you a flag. Do we know when the commitment day is going to be in or out? It's a good question, yeah. In terms of with coach, here's what we generally say. Obviously, look at August. Now, some groups you could look at and say, hey, we've been fundraising for two years. We've been fundraising for 18 months. Then we've got groups who've been doing it just for four months and say, hey, we want to go on this tour. Um, I was out in California last, year, last week in Ventura, where for those guys, you know, you show that and go, hey, cool, let's all go, right? Because it's Ventura, Malibu, whatever. Um, I would suggest that if you're looking to do it, we always say this, within the next 30 days, tell us a number, what are we looking at? We may even say, okay, register with $100. If the tour doesn't happen, we'll give you the deposits back. We don't really want to work that hard to make a tour happen unless there's an interest. But I would say the payments are generally eight months, six months, four months, two months, kind of break it out. But I would say most groups will go in next August and make a commitment by the middle of October. Um, now, if there's parents here who simply say, hey, we want to go on the tour, can we jump on? We've had people jump on as late as June before an August tour. It's just there might not be flights available in our carrier and then you'd have to source you know. Yeah. So it'd be up to coach then really to, to sort of give us a date on what we're looking at. But I would suggest middle of October's in general. Like the flight purchase, if you're doing the group flight. So a flight purchase, yeah. Flight. What you're looking at is, you can really only book a group purchase about 11 months out. So right now, you're kind of there or thereabouts. If it goes another month, you're not going to lose it. You're not going to lose a good price based upon another price. Um, the other thing as well, people ask us about what's Brexit doing. Is it going to lower the price? Because who knows, because it's a bit unstable right now. I don't think it will. It'll probably stay exactly where it was. But in terms of flights, 11 months out, 10 months out, we'd still be sourcing to find the best flight. And what we do with the flight program is, we get a hold on it because of our airline carrier relationships. And if we see a better one, we skip across to that one. Up to a certain date, but we have to deposit. And once we deposit, it's kind of a penalty if we back out. But, yeah, about October, I would say. That's about the latest. Any food allergies? I know how to see gluten free in Germany. So, uh, we have that issue. So, sometimes food allergies, we have to take care of all those kinds of things. That's a big issue. Um, safety, as well, is a major concern of ours. All right. One of the things we've always looked at, um, we believe in travel. Right? We're a, company, a, start, a travel company straight after 9-11, go figure, right? Um, so we recognize that there's challenges there. Um, we go by the guidelines of the state. Uh, if they say that it's not safe to travel, then we don't travel. Um, but in terms of where we're staying, the hotel we're staying, the location we're staying in, security um, is not an issue for us. We actually were in the Euros this summer. Uh, and we had two groups pull out because we had that horrible Paris attack, right? Um, and quite honestly, Euros, it was the most secure place we've ever been to because obviously it's really hyper and extended right now in terms of what they're looking at. But where we stay, the location we go to, the chaperones we have, you mentioned the curry check, we have background checks on our last staff. Um, safety of anybody that goes with us is paramount importance to us. Um, so we take that very seriously as well. What else have we got? Well, yes? How do you handle overnight chaperones? Overnight chaperones. 
So our coaches or our chaperones stay in the same hotel as the players. So we stay right there. So we're always in the same hotel in terms of an overnight chaperone. Um, depends on the age of the kids. Do we go, yes, we'll go into the halls to make sure that... Depends on the age of the kids. At 13 years old, right? Um, that's a challenge. If it's teenage boys and teenage girls, right? Because we may have a girls team run as well. We're fully familiar with it. I have the pet of a 20 year old, well he's 19. He'll be 20 in October if I let him live that long. I have a 17 year old daughter and a 14 year old daughter. Fully familiar, fully aware. Yes, we walk the halls, we will be checking, we go in rooms and everything else. But yeah, we're all over that one. Being there, seeing that, and understand the challenges. But we stay in the same hotel as they do. Razor wire between them. Um, laser dot hits them in the middle of the chest if you see anybody moving around, that kind of thing. <laughs> what else have we got, guys? So, the bus, the bus driver stays with the, with the group. He does. This is a tentative schedule. Correct. So it could change when we're there. You could, one of the things about the schedule is it's always fluid, right? I mean, let's imagine we've suddenly got pouring rain. The, the best example is we went to train with Fulham one time when Avram Grant was a manager, an old Chelsea manager, uh, and they lost on the Sunday, badly. So Monday morning was meant to be their day off, and he said, it's not happening, you're in. So we moved the training session from the morning to the afternoon. So we had the bus driver with us. You spot our bus driver because he's the guy that's whistling at breakfast. He's the only guy with his own room and follows exactly the same schedule you guys do. But it's fluid in terms of flexibility. If you looked at that and said, you know what, can we do seven nights instead of eight nights? Then we can juggle that around and obviously that would affect your price and the flights and things like that. But absolutely, if, um, a, a better example is when we took Springfield over. So I keep mentioning Springfield, it's just down the road from you guys, right? So does anybody know Stefan Sieber, the coach over there? Very German, wonderful guy. He's so German, the clues in the name. He wanted to know, okay, Nick, at 9 o'clock, what are we doing? At 9.05, what are we doing? That's Stefan for you. He wanted to train every day and play two games on the last, uh, last semester tour. The first night they played a game, they lost 1-0, I think, or 2-1. The next night was Louis van Gaal's first game at Old Trafford against Valencia in a pre-season friendly. And we said, do you want to go to the game? Or do you want to play the game? And they went to the game, the kids, the kids won. And so they coach. So we actually went to that. So in terms of fluid and flexibility, if an event comes up like that, then why wouldn't you want to do that? And you mentioned you have an office? In we have a full-time office in the UK, yeah. So it's kind of like the Travelocity Gnome. We kind of get there before you guys do with the keys for the rooms and everything like that. Our chaperone meets you there. So I would imagine your office is going to be three or four, and we meet you at the airport, and then we're with you the entire time. We're not even worrying about the thing that we're taking care of everything. Checking the rooms in, everything like that is all taken care of before you get there. Yeah. What else we got? That's do it. No other questions? Would you like to go to Barcelona and Madrid instead? <laughs> Stonington Soccer Club in Connecticut. Fly in to Madrid, watch Real Madrid against Atletico, not bad. Then travel to Barcelona to watch Barcelona against Real Sociedad. Next April, guess who's going on that tour? <laughs> guess who's chaperone in that one? <laughs> Barcelona and Madrid. So the, pay, so the payments will be equal payments? Yeah, it depends. Generally, we kind of do it like four, four bags of $500 kind of thing. And then the last one is a payment just to bring you up to whatever the final cost is and the flight as well. And the, Go back to the price. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm just wondering what the variation in flights and your experience has been on total. Uh, if you went with August, So is that in there? So if you look at that, you're looking at, we said 30, 35, 40. Obviously that's based on eight nights with the three games and everything else that's included. And then the flight was more addition to that. Right, I'm just wondering, just ballpark now. Ballpark, so if you look at it, again, if you book earlier, it could be cheaper, from, from somewhere between 900 to $1,200, is kind of where your European price is there. Now, if you've got air miles and want to use those yourself, absolutely do that. If you can find your own flight cheaper, we encourage to do that. We work with flight carriers, we just simply pass it on. It's a, to be honest, organising the flights is main for us because we do the e tickets, we <coughs> organise it, we have a full time flight office that does it, but we just kind of pass it on. The reason we're the flight program is because college coaches always want to travel together with their kids, so we kind of do it for them. But you'd have to add that on top of it, certainly. 
They're currently out at about 850. I was just looking the other day. Okay. The flights are about eight, you know, 850. You know, and if you get an 8, 850 right now, is an unbelievable price. Yeah. It, it, was that kind of like a kayak or a no, that, that was that was only if you picked not these specific. You know, you had to bump to a midweek day. You had to fly Tuesday to Tuesday. Which we can do as well. You but, know, if we wanted to, if we wanted to change that around and fly in a midweek game, we can, uh, midweek we can absolutely do that. We've done that before. The challenge of what you've got with the prices that you see online right now is, and I, and I did this always with Dover Sherbet. Dover Sherbet, anybody from Dover Sherbet or know anybody from Dover Sherbet? Every house got four car garages there. Um, and they didn't want to fly, they wanted to fly direct, which was $1,200 versus $950. And, the, and by the way, the direct flight, the, the, the flight connection was JFK. So it wasn't like a huge deal, like the world went all over the world for it. The 850 was through Reiki, they got WW. Right, we, wow, it was unbelievable. And then the planes are superb, because I've flown that a couple of times. The reason I'm bringing it up is, as I'm speaking to the group, and they, they were going, there were 40 people already signed up. And I said, if you're going, we haven't booked our tickets yet for the flight, we just got them on hold. And I pulled them online, British Airways, because I was flying British Airways and flying so I've got the miles. And British Airways were $900. And they were going for $1,250. And I said, if you're asking a family of four, that's $350 difference. So somebody said, well, why don't we go on that one? I said, because there's only five seats left. And if you're not on your smartphone right now, booking that price. And, and as I looked up, people were actually on the phone, well, why not, right? So in terms of something like that with Wow, Wow would a great carrier. Um, they don't do food, you have to pay for your food there, but for five dollars who cares, right? And if we wanted to do that and fly a midweek coach, we absolutely could do it, take a look at it. So if they book their own flights, mm -hmm. and they arrive at different times than we do, what happens? Good question. So generally what you'll find is if you fly your own flight, they generally arrive about the same time. So we'll organize a central pickup meeting spot, for the bus, or we suggest they get to the hotel. So if they got there earlier, a few days earlier or a day earlier, we can get the preferred rates at the hotels that we use. Or we'd say, let's meet at Heathrow and we'll have a central location where we pick people up and they would join the tour that way. And on the weekend going out, they do that as well. But we do that. The group I was talking about in California, they had 46 people, the same dates as you went. 46 people, 16 players, 10 siblings, 20 others, of the 46, only 13 chose our flight program. Everybody else did the wrong. Because if you're going in August, you don't have to be back. If you're going in April, that vacation, you've got to be back in time. And I, really, guys, if you're going over as parents, if any grown ups and adults are going, I would absolutely stay over a little bit longer because in 90 minutes you're in downtown Paris on the train. So why not spend a couple more days over there if you don't need to be back for a particular day? Any others? So anybody that travels with us, yes. they are free to do, the, the team sticks together, stays together. Other travelers can do whatever they want. When the bus leaves to move to hotels, they're with us or they're stuck. Yeah, but they follow the same schedule. So they go and tour the stadiums and so on and so forth like that. If, if there's events such as touring a stadium that parents don't want to do, those are things that we have to physically book a ticket for. So we've had prorated, but the stadium tours are some of the best things we can do as a parent. And there's all sorts of different events that they can build around anyway. But if you're going to go with us, you can jump on the bus with us and settle around. If we have enough for two buses, that makes it even, even better. And if the girls go, by the way, the girls would do their own training sessions separate to the boys. And we'd make it that the games, the games they play, are the same evening or simultaneous or one after the other, right? So it's not like Monday night, the girls are going there playing, Tuesday night the boys are playing. Because that way you, you can't do, do anything. You, you're kind of stuck around soccer all the time. So yeah, parents have free reign, and again, staying in city centre hotels makes a big, big difference. Because you can just get up and walk around. We'll be staying in four different hotels. Right now you've got four, because the final night, if you're flying out of Heathrow, um, it depends on your flight is. If your flight was an afternoon flight, you could probably stay in St George's Park for another night. If you're flying in the morning, then you'd have to go and stay in London the night before, just so you could do that. But adding St George's, essentially gives you that extra hotel there. So you're going to stay in at least three hotels, but adding St. George gives you four. But St. George is definitely worth doing. But you suck it, guys. What does that ask them? Uh, ask them. Uh, you're going to ask me if I know Cristiano? It's hard in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, this is the way I, this is the way I, yeah, yeah. question cool. one, yeah. Okay, good. Sorry. No, that's good. Um, do you always just fly into Heathrow or do you ever go to Gatwick? Is it Gatwick? 
Yeah, so Wow Airlines actually flies into Gatwick. So we have done into Gatwick before. Again, what we'll look at is whatever the best possible price is. And Gatwick right now is becoming quite a popular carrier from Boston. So Wow Airlines that flies out there is going to Gatwick. Gatwick's further south, but it doesn't make a difference in terms of getting to where we need to go. It's just that there's more flights generally into Heathrow. But Gatwick is becoming more and more popular because Heathrow is full. So anybody that has another carrier now would go to Gatwick. But have we done Gatwick? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We we'll look at whatever's the best possible price. And the, the one that you just mentioned there, Wow, and um, Iceland there, they fly into Gatwick. Virgin does as well. Which is a great flight, Virgin School. You have a question? So these prices are for the airline, hotels, everything through the tour, correct? You'd have to add the airfare on. Airfare is on top of it. In addition, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you'd have the airfare on in addition. One thing that we never did, well, we used to have flight on, right? But if you're airflown to Europe, it's a base flight. And your base flight's $300. The rest of it's taxes. So we'd say, this is your base flight, not including taxes. It's big, bold letters. So it's 2,500, flight included, not including airline taxes. And then it comes around and we say, you need to pay that six hundred dollars for flight taxes. Remember, we put that in big, bold letters. And everybody looks at us, you said the flight was included. So it's just, it's easy to take the flight out and say to you guys, if you want to look for your own flight and find your own carrier, much easier to do that way. But the challenge right now is European flights are expensive, you know, that, that's the most important. I just flew to LA last week, Direct one way was $130. And it's the same distance, right? But there's no taxes because you're not flying to Europe. So yeah, your flight's the most expensive part. Of it. Sorry, travel insurance? So travel insurance, we actually offer. You can actually go on there and look at travel insurance. There's healthcare insurance when you get over there, you can use the National Health Service. But with, there's also, we actually piggyback with the provider, but quite honestly, I'd go out and search your own. Um, I just went abroad. I, so, for example, when I go abroad, I don't use our company's insurance, I just go AAA. And AAA was like $14 for me just to get covered, So I'm a AAA member. So, we advise looking for um, travels insurance, medical insurance, even though over there there's a health service. What you should do is check with your own insurance carrier, however, just to see that if you got injured playing abroad, is there a carrier, you know, is, is there a proviso in your plan? For that, it's something you'd be careful of. It similar to skiing, right? If you've got health insurance, just check if it covers skiing, things like that. It's one of those riders in there. But we suggest getting health insurance before you go over there. But don't get ours, even though it's online. You can click on it. We just pick it up with somebody else who offers it. Quite honestly, triple A going online, Patriot Insurance. There's some real cheap ones out there. Much cheaper than we're going to get. So I'm looking for, I'm looking for 15 players that are going to participate in the trip to go, okay? Um, I think that's, you know, that's a minimum number of players to, to play and compete and, you know, certainly play three games. We may need to reduce it if we don't get enough players, but that's, that's a fluid situation. Um, I'm sure it'll be the same on the girls' side. So we need, you know, we're looking at 30 players to participate. As many parents, as many alumni as want to, that want to come can come. Um, Nick has said that if we have enough alumni, he can get a game for the alumni as well. You know, I don't know if they want to do that or not, but that's a possibility. Um, so, if for some reason we cannot get the 15 players to play, and we can still get 40, play, 40 people that want to go on this trip, then we're still going to go. Okay? We can still go and do everything else we wanted to do. I want to make it a soccer trip for the guys, and obviously for the girls. So, if we get enough guys, enough girls um, to go, it's, that's, what it, that's what I want to do. But if we get enough, to reduce the price, then I think we could, we could try to make that happen as well. <coughs> so the next step, the next step is? We set up a registration page for yourself and send an email link to that page. And we basically send that out to you for you then to send out to your individuals. And I would say, what we generally see is this, sign up with a $100 refundable deposit if the tour doesn't go back. We're gonna send the reason we say $100 is just because it's kind of got some skin in the game then, mm -hmm. and just get a feel for it. And even then, even if you want to just poll the group in California, let's just poll for the next 30 days. If we've got enough people to do it, great, we'll go forward. Can you set the registration page then? Again, we'll organize the tour, guys, but we're not going to chase up. If, if the tour's not going to happen, it's not worth our time to chase up. And if it's not this year and it's next year, that's fine as well. That happens too. Yep. Yep. And everything is done through your website. Everything's, Everything's website. done through the website. Smartphone, tablet, computer. 
Yeah, and, but also as well as that, if you want to call, we have a full-time office in Orlando. That's our corporate office. So if you want to make a phone call to somebody or even speak to England,